what is going on my fine my divine ass feminine what is going on baby it is scorpion red several i am back at it again yes and goddamn deed for the remix to let you know what is going on for mid-month May 2019. For May the 15th through the 31st, yes indeed. Shout out to all my new subscribers. Shout out to all my G's. My OG's. Shout out to everybody who know me, okay? Shout out to everybody. Alright, thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing, and clicking this video. If there's anyone that would like to give love and light... And um, would like to book a reading with me, you can do so by clicking that About tab. There's a lot of information there. There's information for my booking. There's information for my Instagram, how to contact me. And there's my Amazon wish list as well as my PayPal information if you want to um, give love donations. So in order to book with me, what you need to do is book and then link with me, okay? Book and then link. So click that booking link which says Scorpion Red Tarot as Simply Book Me, okay? Select your reading and then link up with me, all right? You have two selections to link up with me, okay? You can either click that Instagram link that is directly selected under the booking link on the About page, or you can um, download this app called Google Hangouts. You can use my email, which is scorpionreds at gmail.com, and we can connect that way. So book and then link. I will use Instagram or Google Hangouts. Again, my email for the Google Hangouts is scorpionreds at gmail.com, and we'll be good to go. Um, I want to give a shout out real quick to my baby Callie. Shout out to you, baby. She did his two awesome freaking solids. First off, she got us this deck, this numerology deck. I use this deck like almost every morning for my spiritual message ever since I got it. And I got this thing on Mother's Day. So I got it on Mother's Day and I opened up the door at 111. Okay, so that was a blessing to me. Thank you so much, Callie. And guess what? To all my Game of Thrones fans, if you have not heard about this in your monthly already, she ordered the Game of Thrones freaking tarot cards test. So you're going to see Aria. You're going to see Cersei, the Hound. You're going to see my baby Jamie. Oh, my God. Like, why would I be loving Jamie? He was, like, doing all type of fucked up shit, but I still loved him. I still, I was still loving him. Anyway, okay, we're going to let it go. Okay, hold on. Hold on with me. Because it's going to be the last episode. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on to your love. You got, I don't want it to go on. I don't want Game of Thrones. To, okay, I'm sorry. This ain't about Game of Thrones. Hold on. My baby Jabberwocky. They killed it with the green one. I'm sorry. I can't do it. I don't, okay, okay. I'm, 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 I'm reeling it in, Jesus, I am. This is about the divine, fine, feminine. Okay, we about to do this, ladies. We about to do this. Listen. Listen to me, okay? Belinda, you in the room? Belinda, you on the side? Y'all here? Okay, we got it. Okay, listen. Let's get into the prayer, y'all. Father God, thank you so much for all the love, laughter, and the joy of prosperity and the hope and the knowing and holding on to the faith as we're growing, Father God. Thank you so much for all of the blessings that you've been bringing into the life of all of the divine uh, feminines. And you know what? I've realized that we got two different soul groups here. We got our OGs and we got our newbies. We got our OGs and we got our newbies. So we're going to see who we tapping into today. And for all my newbies, forgive me if I was being a little harsh last time. But I just wanted y'all to see how simple some situations sound from the outside looking in so you can make better decisions on, you know, your selections that you had going on. Because both of them sound like two losers. It's just one was worse than the other. So, you know, we want to try to raise our paradigm and, you know, and elevate higher to... You know, calling better things that represent us and truly where we are, where we're standing in our growth and accepting nonsense like that is not where we're at. It's definitely not where my OGs are at. So um, for our newbies, we're trying to bring you guys where we're at. So I do apologize if I offended anyone who's in the newbie group. And OGs, I want us to band together and support our newbies because we were there last year or the year before last or whenever you know what i'm saying we were there so we got to make sure that we stay in support of each other and you know sometimes you got to check yourself before you wreck yourself and i had to check myself so i just wanted to 
put that out there and just let everyone know that we're all on different stages in our soul journey and we're all collectively going to get through this together by supporting each other and pulling each other up you know what i'm saying so um father god please give us messages for the divine collective of the divine feminine um and we're going to figure out which soul group we're going to tap into. But hopefully we can get a collective uh, message for both groups. You see what I'm saying? So thank you so much, Father God, for all of the new people that have been brought into this. Because my program here that I run is a heal and release program. I do not believe in that twin flame bullshit. A lot of my OGs already know that. I feel like it's very toxic. So what I am doing is trying to heal and release y'all. Because like I said, tarot is here for purposes for people that is looking for insight, that's looking for guidance. Once you truly heal yourself, once you learn, and my, anyone that's had a personal reading with me knows. They're my friends and I stay connected with them because they're my friends and I love them. I don't want them to constantly need a reading from me. I am here to heal, help heal, and release you to your own divine power. All of us have the same divinity, the same gift within each other. I am here to help you develop it so you don't feel addicted to this. Because once you find a healthy, a healthy place of self-worth and self-love within yourself, and you learn how to harness and harvest and use all of your tools appropriately and your intuition. You're not going to need this no more. The only thing that you're going to need this for is, like I said, you look for entertainment. And if you just need a little bit extra insight on whatever you don't know, you know what I'm saying? And to help other people, you know what I'm saying, the way you were helped. But once you're healed, truly you're going to find true love. And when you find true love, honey, you're not going to be on these pages looking at no tarot readings. I promise you. And that is the true message. That is the divine message that I'm trying to preach. And that I want y'all to understand the same power and the same gifts that I have. Y'all have within y'all. You know, we all come here searching for answers. But the answers that you should be finding is to find the divine light in you. To use your own intuition and use your own light. Do not get pulled in and tricked into this twin flame bullshit. It's toxic and it's a trap to keep y'all running and chasing, running and chasing. Like I said, so people can sell readings. It's an addiction. And it's toxic. And I don't want y'all to fall in that trap. And that is not what I am here for. Okay? So, everyone that is on different stages in this soul journey... In a divine feminine journey. Our younger sisters. I want you to pull them. Grab them by the hand. And each one teach one. Okay. And that is literally your ticket into the next stage of divinity. That truly shows that you have grown. And you have healed to the point where you can take someone that. Where you were a couple of years ago. Or however long ago. And be able to grab their hand and help them. Along their soul journey. That is literally the ticket to the next stage. So I congratulate all of my OGs. That realize that we are bringing in a new soul group. And it's our turn to pay it forward. Okay. <laughs> Seriously. Because I really realized that. And I realized that. This is a message that um, anyone that's in here, y'all can timestamp this for whenever I stop talking and really get into the reading. But this is a message to my OGs. This is a message to my newbies. And I want y'all to know that this is a safe place. Know you want to get the truth here. Know that I'm not going to sugarcoat shit for you. And if at any point in time you don't like what I have to say, if you don't, can't handle what I can say, you can click the fuck off. Like, I don't care. But are people that can handle it and really able to go along this journey with me and with my OGs. I will see y'all here. I'm going to see y'all here for the tea. I'm going to see y'all here for the daily bread. And we're going to continue to get this guidance and this nourishment from God so that we can truly get to the point where we need to be to uh, bring in our true divine masculines. Because a lot of you guys have been chasing someone that is not your divine masculine. That is someone who is merely a lesson to teach you who you are in your divinity and to blossom that flower so that you can bloom, you know?
if your flower is just being recognized, it ain't even blossom yet. So that's telling you that your divine masculine ain't nowhere in sight. You have to do your work first. That was a lesson. So ever you're going to keep repeating the lesson and don't understand the glory, you ain't never going to get to your true story in life. You're going to be stuck. And I don't want y'all to be stuck. Okay, so I love y'all. Let me get into the message because I'm rambling my mouth too much. Father God, please give us divine messages for the divine feminine. Thank you so much. All right, let's get the overall spec the outlook of what's going on with my divine feminines in this crazy world here. This is the Alice of Wonderland Oracle deck. One of my ladies told me to shout out all of the decks that I'm using, so I'm gonna try to make sure that I remember. This is the Alice in Wonderland. Oracle deck, okay? Let's see what's going on in this crazy world of ours. Ooh, okay. So it says, forget who you are. Conditioning falls away. Memory no longer defines you. This came out in the reverse. So I feel like some of us are trying to really move forward and change and metamorph into this new being that we are you understand but the thing is it's like i feel like the previous conditionings of who we were how we dealt in relationships what type of man we used to date how we used to go about life our routines da 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 that shit is like a hard thing to break it's hard to you know forget who we've been for so long and what spirit is trying to tell you like to bring in the true blessings of the divine feminine energy this journey that you're on you're going to have to remove those conditionings and truly forget who you are because you are nobody at this point and sometimes being nobody is a good thing because being nobody means that you don't have no obligations no place to go you know what I'm saying? And you can truly figure out where your destination is, where you want to obligate yourself, how you want to color your canvas, what paint you want to use, what quality paint you want to use, what um what with the bat what, whatever the fabric of the like literally everything. When you have nothing, it's the beginning of a of, 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 of <laughs> Whatever you want your foundation to be, if you want it to be a cardboard box with some Crayola um, crayons on it, it could be that. But if you want to create freaking Picasso level type of shit, you can fucking create that shit. It's up to you. But if you are conditioned in a way where your mind is fixated on wanting the same thing, you're going to continue getting the same shit every day. Same bullshit, different damn toilet. So it's up to you to continue to struggle every day, every day. Ever you going to forget who you are? And this is someone that is tapping into their animalistic nature. Like, who are you? Who? What is your nature screaming out? What are you? What? What is your nature screaming to? You're not even the same person that you used to be. So you can't say what you used to do was, what, was where you're supposed to be now. You're not that person no more. What is this new animalistic nature screaming? What is it calling for? What is it desiring for? You don't even know who you are right now. Listen to yourself. Stop being fixated on the same bullshit. The same bullshit, you're going to get the same shit. But the only thing is you ain't get the same person, so you don't fit in that atmosphere no more. So stop struggling with yourself. You feel what I'm saying? Give me additional guidance for the Divine Feminine for mid-May 15th through the 31st. Give my Divine Feminine guide. Oh, okay. The Five of Swords. Mm. The moon, the knight of pentacles in reverse. Yeah. That is someone that is a very controlling and dominating person. And this, this, this five of swords person right here 
It might be a woman in your atmosphere right here. I feel like this person, this might be like your mother or something like that. I feel like she's very controlling and she's very domineering and she's very manipulative. And she wants you to play the cards in your life the way she fucking wants you to do that shit. Do you feel what I'm saying? Like, she don't give a shit about your intuition. She don't give a shit about where the fuck, you know, you see your life going. She wants you to follow her directions even if it leads you into a place where you are not, un like, where you're unhappy and you're going to be feasted on alive. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, this person wants what they want and they want literally mind control over your environment where they are able to block out your intuition where you can't even think for yourself. You know, I feel like this person, you're very... You have a very anxious and like nervous energy around this person makes you nervous it's like you be walking around eggshells on this person like you don't know if this person is going to try to help you or devour you or some shit like that you know what I'm saying it's like this person comes off like they're very helpful and things like that and you should be able to trust them because of who they are but at the same time it's like Every conversation, every situation with this person is a lose-lose situation. It's a lose-lose situation. And you feel like the things that you are trying to say and how you're trying to come across with this person and how you're trying to work on things to try to possibly make things better. Because it's like deep inside, I feel like you really respect this person and everything like that. But it's like I can't be what you want me to be so if you are looking for me to be what you want me to be and work on what you see fit for my life like I'm gonna fall short every time so like stop expecting me to just rush for and glory and just show up on time up to your expectations because that's just not who I am justice in reverse this person feels like listen I've allowed you to kind of be the deciding factor in the rule and judge and jury in my life for a long time. And right now I'm rejecting your rule because I don't feel that you have any justification to come down on me as hard as you do. It's just like, you know, and honestly, your advice and the shit that you be kicking to me, even though you my mother, you my auntie or whoever it is, I feel like you be leading me in the wrong direction, honey. You know what I'm saying? And you be coming off too harsh. And I feel like, honestly, there's some, like, manipulative reason why you be saying and doing the things that you be doing anyway. Like, I don't know, maybe there's some, like, jealousy, hate, or envy, or just something. There's some secret behind why this person is so forceful, why they're so determined and so relentless in their pursuit to tell you what the fuck it is that they need. Like, it's like, what's your end game? Like, what's the, what, what are you playing for? This could be a friend. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like someone that is trying to tell you how to play your cards. And you like, listen. My intuition is telling me, like, you might just be telling me that shit because you just, like, are jealous. Or it's something that lies deeper in regards to this woman's intentions. Because you see how she's gathering up those swords and stuff like that. It's like, what? It's just like you be feeling like this person always be trying to gather you up or something like that. Like, what? Like, this could be someone that every time that you be talking to this person, you feel like you're being judged harshly. And this person is trying to gather you up. And it damn sure could be your fucking mother. And you're just like, listen, I'm not no goddamn fool. Every time I get on the phone with you, I feel like I'm jumping down a goddamn rabbit hole and shit like that. Bitch, fuck you. I'm followed by my arm governed by my goddamn self. Full cups. I ain't even interested in nothing the fuck that you got to say. Because really, you emotionally goddamn disturbed your damn self fuck out of here and your ass be drunk half of the damn time when I be on the phone with you you stupid bitch five of pentacles you might be blocking this person out you might be blocking this person out uh divine feminine because it's like how can you forget how can you forget who you were in the past and move towards who you are in the future if everything that you're trying to do to move forward in the future this person is trying to just like 
Oh, well, you can't do that because you know this, this, and that. It's just trying to constantly tell you how you're not going to win, how you're not going to succeed, how you're not going to receive victory. It's because these motherfuckers don't want you to win. They mad because they wasn't dealt them cards. What's the true T? Fuck out of here. What's the true secret for why you so goddamn mad and bitter all the motherfucker time, you little mean bitch? Little thick neck turkey bitch. What? Because you ain't got two goddamn spades in the back? Fuck out of here. Sometimes you got to pay attention to the source. Listen, and you running on your goddamn hands to wheel to goddamn fortune, and you see all them cars that's coming down on you. That's why that motherfucker is mad. And you block that person out, and good fortune came to you immediately once you stop listening to this stupid, bitter-ass motherfucking bitch. This person don't want you to see love. This person wants you to be stuck and bitter and fucking. It's like somebody that's overweight, right? And it's like both of y'all been overweight ever since y'all was young. But for whatever reason, you feel like, Chuck, I just want to change. Because I don't want to be bringing in no bad health shit and everything like that. And shit, I like having sex. So I like to spin around and do somersaults on the dick. And I can't do all this shit with extra, all this extra weight on my ankles and shit. Bitch, my ankles be sweating and shit. My ankles be shaking and shit. Okay, bitch, I can't do that. I can't do that reverse cow. I can't spin around. I can't spin around the way I want to. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, instead of both of y'all deciding, you know, to, we about to go to this LA Fitness. We about to go to Mid Valley. Uh, we about to spend a little time up in there again in the gamma, you know? So you go off and you go do whatever it is that you want to do. And you get nice and slim and trim because you trying to forget who you was in the past. You know what I'm saying? You trying to motherfucking show some ass. You trying to, you know, you trying to take a tail feather all through 19, okay? We popping puss all through 19. Oh, but miss turkey neck, goblet neck ass bitch here. Mm-hmm. The one that don't never want to meet you at the gym. The one that don't never want to get it in. Uh-huh. This person see you slimming down. And you, ooh, honey. You looking like a whole snack. You looking like a whole edible arrangement. You looking like a whole offering basket, honey. Honey, you know like that offering basket in church. They be, yeah, everybody be putting the money. And you be like, bitch, I wish I could just take that fucking shit home. with, But you can't take it. But honey, you looking like a whole offering basket. Just People just wish they could just take you. But they can't take it. That this bitch can't. Take you. She can't take you. She can't mistake you. Right? Bitch, you out he, you out here like KK 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 KK. Don't you put your name on it. I put your name on people people in the background, they trying to put their name on it. And she cock block. She miss cock block. Okay? Cause you out here with all that cake. Because there was no mistake in your plans. You understand what I'm saying? So now all of a sudden, because you trying to forget who you was in the past. Because you don't got all slim and trim. You all jumper through holes and shit. All with your faith and your glory. You trying to, you know, write a new story and shit. You all excited and shit about new prosperities and shit in life. You just like, wee, okay, bitch, okay. This bitch like, hold on. What you running around here jumping through holes for? Is you stupid? Is you stupid? Okay. Bring me my voice. What is you doing with your life? You about to lose out here. You might want to slow down with you because you lost a little weight. You think you cute and shit like that. What you need to do is you need to slow down. And you need to look at the cards that has dealt you. Because, girl, you've been fat all your life. So don't be running around here thinking that you not no fat bitch. Don't be thinking that you that bitch. Don't be thinking that you got stat bitch. And you see how she getting mad and angry and angry. And, and, bitch. You extra KY jelly. You is extra... Block that bitch <laughs> and let your fortunes come in. That's why your fortunes can't come in because these motherfuckers is sitting there bitter, 
miserable, mad, sad. Because their life is not coming to them the way that they want. And look at you being that dolphin in the back, feeling all resourceful, feeling all spontaneous, feeling all good, emotionally secure. You're feeling all smart and everything. And look at this bitch. This bitch feeling all mad and all bitter and shit like this. This person feeling all rejected because this person feel like if you get your life together and if you find happiness and you ain't all out of shape, if you want, ain't all, you know... If your life ain't all out of shape, that's not meaning like you physically out of shape, but your life out of shape. If you ain't all out of shape, you ain't going to have nothing in common with them. You understand? Tuh. Give me guidance and love. Go out there and express your love. I don't give a damn what this hating ass bitch got to say. This motherfucker man, because they can't go out there and express their love. All right? Let go of control issues. Because a lot of that shit is being built into your head by bitter bitches that don't got nothing going for themselves. So let go of that shit. That shit is a plan. Okay? And stop stop allowing what these other stupid ass people say to trigger you and not allow you to keep your open mind in regards to the, you know, good and goddamn well. This is the Doreen Virtue um, Love Oracle deck. Which I bought out of retirement just for you guys. Just for you guys. Go out there and be playful. Go out there and be playful. Because if you don't, you're not going to open up the door to new love. Do you understand what I'm saying? You got to go out there. And you know what? You need to start going out by your goddamn self. Stop hating. Because a lot of times, a lot of people be feeling like, you know, I be needing... My girlfriends and this and that to go out with. No, you don't. Let go of that control. Go out there and express your love by yourself. Let go of that control issue of feeling like you need somebody to go with you. No, the fuck you don't. Who jumping in this hole? Me, myself, and I. And my putty cat. Okay? That's your putty cat. Okay? Can't nobody tell you what to do with your putty cat. Can't nobody enjoy your putty cat but you. That's your putty cat. Girl, you better jump out on faith. Who, who you got with you? Zero. Zero. Giving zero fucks about no 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 uh uh no because that was harsh judgment that was unfair judgment and that's because this bitch is mad and this motherfucker life ain't going away and nobody offering nothing to this motherfucker and even if it is this ugly little simpleton little look at this person these are the type of people that be coming and offering something to them and they mad and they big big pussy mad no let go of that shit. Let go of that shit. Don't let nobody poison your mind and make you think that you can't keep an open mind because of whatever you went through in your past or whatever. Uh-uh. That ain't... That's... No, no, no. Go out there and play. Go out there and enjoy yourself. Otherwise, you're going to block this new love. Don't let them people push that energy off on you. Forget all of that old shit. Forget all of that... Forget all of that stuff. You are the deciding factor of where you are in your life. Give me guidance for the divine feminine. Oh, I'm not taking that. Give me guidance for the divine feminine in love. Give me guidance for the divine feminine in love. No, actually, actually, hold on. Let me go here first. Give me guidance for the divine feminine in love. Thank you. It says allow the situation to unfold naturally. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit to shine. Go ahead and make romantic gestures. Give me guidance for the divine feminine from mid May 15th through the 31st. Thank you so much. Give the divine feminine guidance and love. Two of coins. All right. I feel like right now you have like. Two things that are very, very um, important in your life. I really do feel like it is career. Like your career, your foundation. Your career and your foundation. Those are two things that are like extremely important to you right now. What is this? The Ten of Wands and releasing burdens. It's like your career and your foundation is the most important thing to you right now. And like truly releasing those burdens of bullshit that you thought was like going to plague your life forever. The two of wands. You're ready to like truly get everything that you need to get to feel confident to truly make a decision on how you want to move forward. Because I feel like you're just tired of being stagnant. The king of coins. Like you really want to attract this king of coins. You want someone that's older. Someone that's mature. 
You know, and then a lot of, I know a lot of my girls, y'all like y'all them little, them fat daddies, my little thick, my little thick poppies. Yes, with them cute little cheeks and them little fat belly. Oh, little fat daddy. Y'all want y'all the little fat daddy with the caddy. I need y'all fat daddy and the caddy. All right? Five of coins. I feel like right now you guys feel kind of like shut out from the blessings in life because you just feel like it's not coming in in regards to love. You know what I'm saying? You just feel like you just kind of out in the cold and you really want to attract the right. And it's not even that you're out in the cold like that. It's that you want to attract the right type of man, the right type of man for you. Y'all, I feel like y'all do be getting a lot of bullshit players, but because that's because your paradigm wasn't aligned right. You know what I'm saying? You were attracting a lot of emperors in reverse, a whole bunch of fake ass people that wanted to be in control but don't want to earn the respect of the emperor, someone that you are allowing to manage and take charge and things like that. Now, you have to show me that you earned that title and that you earned that respect as an emperor. Just because you come off forceful and dominant doesn't mean that you deserve that title because you can be forceful and dominant and be shit. Okay, you could be forceful and be dominant and be shit. Don't take the trash out. Don't help me with none of the bills. You could be abusive. You could be, you know, manipulative. You can be an adulterer. You could be untrustworthy, unreliable. So at the end of the day, it's like you are truly being shut out in the cold from attracting people like that. So if that is. If you are feeling a little lonely right now, if you're feeling a little lonely right now, that is because you are dropping that burden of attracting those old type of people. You are trying to align yourself with the right energies. You are shifting your paradigm so that you can attract these ki these king of coins, these good men, these good fathers, these good providers, these good leaders. You know, because I do feel like on some aspect a lot of you guys have a hard time budgeting your money like you guys like nice things you guys like nice things so you know y'all be on uh i don't know y'all be shopping on amazon i don't know y'all be buying hair and all this shit like expensive eggs wigs and shit y'all be doing all this <laughs> you know what i'm saying y'all be doing extra research and shit like that you know trying to find the, the finer things in life like truly and I feel like y'all need someone that has like a good plan in regards to the future that could kind of help you manage things and kind of stay on top of everything and just you know help you kind of design this new way of life and right here I see that you know you guys are most definitely I, I feel like the research, like the way that you guys are looking into these new prospects into life is like, this is like, okay, I feel like some of you guys want to move and like you have this idea of where you want your life to go. Like, I feel like a lot of friends and a lot of people in the behind, I feel like a lot of people are going to get left behind and I do see a lot of you guys are going to be moving totally to whole new areas and things like that. Because you just feel like, I honestly feel like you don't fit in here. I feel like you don't fit in where you're at and the type of people that you're trying to attract, you're not going to find there at your current location. Because you just feel like it's a bunch of bum ass losers and shit. Like, and it's like, man, I just feel left out in the cold because I just don't feel like I fit in with these motherfuckers. And it's like you're doing like double, triple research. Because you're not spying on nobody. You're spying on your opportunities for the future. You see what I'm saying? Because it's like you're, you're tired of putting up the fight here. You're tired of the people. You want stronger foundations and stronger options in your career. You want to feel more balanced. And I just feel like y'all not, not into it. Like you're not into it here. You just 
not fucking into it. Give me guidance. Let me see. Who do we got here? Give me guidance in regards to this King of King of Pentacles. How are we going to obtain this King of Pentacles, please? Message of concern popped out. Let me sit up here. Let me slouch down. Give me guidance here. About this King of Pentacles. Message of concern. Bad health and message. Message of concern, bad health, and message. I feel like I feel like you guys are like really stressed. I feel like you guys are really stressed. I feel like a lot of the drama that's been going on in your life, and I feel like this this whoever this is, this woman that's just like very forceful and controlling and thinks she know what the fuck she does. Like this bitch get on your fucking nerves. Like seriously. Seriously, and it's just like, man, I ain't, I ain't even interested in this shit. I'm just not, I'm not interested. And I feel like these people stress you out to the point of bad health. And I feel like that you're finally getting the message that you need to get that. Like, I feel like you just need peace. What is this courthouse? Oh, it might be something like you guys might be moving. You guys might be dealing with something legally in regards to. Oh, lovers. Yeah, I feel like... I feel like there's a... Courthouse lovers. Yeah. Okay, so I feel like... I feel like for some of y'all, yes, there's, there's definitely a controlling aspect surrounding your hometown environment. And I feel like you might have got a message of concern from your doctor about your health. And you feel like it's like a true message about the level of stress that you deal in your hometown. I feel like not only are you dealing with court matters with your lover. Okay. But, you know, it's just like, I feel like you've been receiving gift after gift after gift of just possibly unfortunate things like like these it, it's it, it's a, and you also might find out from the courthouse that your lover received a gift from someone a gift because his gift was in the reverse it was like this and and the lovers was in the reverse too the lovers was in the reverse and a gift so some of y'all might find out through court or by some way that there was a, a lover that you didn't know about that might have bought a, a, a gift. and Hold on. Yeah, well, you were not being treated as high honor. You were not being deserved in a high honor. Poverty. Main female. Okay, yeah. All right. All right, so there's a message of concern that's going to bring you a lot of stress. And it has, there's going to be some message of concern that has to do with your health. That has to do with your health. And it's in regards to messages that you've been seeing, that you've been seeing or receiving. So be aware of that. I feel like a lot of you guys might have been doing a lot of investigation and stalking and finding out shit that you might necessarily might not necessarily wanted to know about and I feel like it might have in increased your stress level and if you have blood pressure cholesterol issues or whatever I don't think that the stuff that you've been finding has helped your health um you guys are going to be going to the courthouse very soon to deal with matters in regards to lovers a love affair that resulted in an unwanted gift and i'm picking up the deck you know that could be anything that could be anything that could be a child that could be an std because we got health here you know so there might be possible somebody might have ended up with something an unwanted package you know what i'm saying 
someone could have ended up with an unwanted package because there were too many lovers in this situation and I feel like that might be brought up in court or you might be taking someone to court for that because it's like I'm getting a message of concern about some bad health and then you start looking around and you start finding the truth, the truth behind some shit. And you realize that you weren't being held in high honor. Someone was not honoring you. Someone was not honoring you. All right. And I feel like the main female is being left in poverty. And that you might, and then I also just got that some of you guys might be getting a message of concern about bad health and messages they found and how they're taking the, the lover, the ex lover to court because they found a gift that they didn't expect. They weren't being held at high honor. They're being left in poverty. This is the main woman telling y'all this. I don't know. I'm just getting that. So. <laughs> Let's see, like, I was going to do messages from the Twin Flame, but I just, like, I, I, I kind of want the tea. I kind of want the tea a little bit. I kind of want the tea. I kind of want the tea on this. Spirit, give me the tea. Let me know, when are these messages of concern? When is this information coming in? When is this information coming in? This bad health, these messages of this bad health courthouse about these lovers. People not being held in high honor. April. This might be something that you found out about in April. This might be something that you found out about in April. You might have found out about this main female. Give me guidance. What is this? Marriage. A lot of commitment. And I take that marriage card as like a commitment. If y'all not married, like a commitment to the point where y'all live with each other. Like there's a true like commitment. Good fortune is coming. What is this? Carriage. A journey at the physical and mental. Quill. Get back to basics. So... And this, and that, no, I'm getting that this could possibly for the Divine Feminine. This is marriage next April. I feel like you guys might have found out some messages and y'all might have found out some information about bad health or someone that is, is in bad health due to poverty, not being held at high honor. These messages might have came from the um, main female. Um, there were other lovers and there was a gift that was received that someone didn't like. Might be receiving some messages on the internet or something about that. That might be coming soon. That might be coming next April or that happened this recent April. However, I am feeling like for the Divine Feminine, marriage is coming for you guys next April. Alright? And saying good fortune is coming. You are blessed with good fortune. Carriage. A journey, either physical or mental. And it says, Quill, get back to the basics. Okay? So good fortune is coming to you that, you know, you are on, a, you are on a, the right path. You're on a safe journey. Just get back to basics. Harp, great happiness. All right? This says, ooh, broken ring, a parting way, either in romance or business. All right? So there's a broken ring here. Pineapples. Reconciliation. So I feel like there's great happiness here in regards to that. There's there's great happiness. I feel like someone that there was a broken ring, that there was a pardon of ways in romance and or business, that there's going to be a reconciliation in that. And I know a few, and I always say, a few of y'all going to be like, uh-uh, bitch, pineapples, pineapples. But for some of y'all, I feel like some of you guys 
I'm not saying pineapples like that. I feel like this person, like the sweetest fruit on the face of this earth, the most juiciest and the most tastiest, natural, is a pineapple. And I feel like there's no other sweeter taste than this commitment that y'all had with this person that y'all had this broken connection with. And y'all been harping over it for a while. And I feel like um, great happiness is going to come. Because there is going to be a, a reconciliation with this person from the past that might result in marriage by next May, about next April. Oops. Boo. Increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals. Valley. Deep personal strength and peace that assures success. All right. Seashore. This is in regards to family matters, okay? So in regards to family matters, I want you to increase your effort so you can get over the valley and truly reach success. Bo, you are highly thought of. So I want you guys to make sure that y'all are... I feel like that has to do with this woman here. Shark. Take care or there will be a loss of material wealth. You are highly thought of, but you got to be a shark out here. You got to make sure that you're taking care of and that you're keeping your money, your money on your mind at all times. And you got to increase your effort. You know what I'm saying? And I really do feel like that has to do with finances and your material matters in, in regards to your family. Horseshoe, good luck. All right. So it says you are highly thought of. I feel like this is in career and in love because we're talking about marriage here. You got to make sure that you be in the shark in the water. This is about survival. Take care or there will be a loss of material wealth. I feel like don't let love and don't let anything distract you from your finances and your career. Horseshoe. Good luck is ahead. Good luck is ahead. All right. Let me get a little bit more tea and then we're gone with this tea. And we're going to move forward. Give me, ooh. Dog, pleasure with a close friend. So you might be chilling with your close friend here. All right? Fair man. Dealings or relationship with a man with blonde, gray, or white hair. So if you have someone that has hair that's graying, um, blondish, sandy blonde hair, or even like, you know, for African-American people, they may be... Um, you know, like how people can have dreads, but it kind of has like that kind of like sandy blondish kind of tint to, you know what I'm saying? Like that kind of, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Yeah. Or just, I honestly take that as a, like a light skinned man as well. Kane, it says, pay attention to your health. So maybe this is something, something is going on with this fair man in regards to this light skinned man, this man with gray hair, sandy blondish hair or blonde hair or white hair. There's something going on with this person's health. Crib, birth or conception of a child or enterprise. All right. Might be something in regards to health, in regards to frying pan, troubles and accusations. I feel like there might be stress or something. In regards to a birth or conception of a child, a baby, and it might possibly be causing some stress on this person where it's affecting this person's health. And then it says you will be receiving a precious gift from this person. But there's a lot of trouble and there's a lot of accusations surrounding uh, a situation with a crib at the crib. There's a lot of situation at the crib for this person. Okay, you might be getting information from your dog. This might have something to do with these messages. You might be getting information from your dog or a close friend about dealings or relationships with a fair man, have a light skinned man, um, someone with blonde hair, gray hair, sandy blondish hair, or white hair. This person might be having some health issues because they may be dealing with some stresses at their crib in regards to a baby, a new birth of a situation, or something at work. But I'm really getting it has information with trouble at their crib at home. With you know, might ever be trouble at home or trouble with kids or 
trouble with the new birth of kids and there might be some accusations i feel like there might be some accusations in regards to a new baby she said like they're in the frying pan about some shit about a new baby and i feel like it's causing stress on their health but you will be receiving a gift from this person because they consider you their diamond and it's stress and it's bad health on this person in regards to some accusation and trouble with a new birth. And they go that gift. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Well, what the hell does that have to do with the marriage in April? Give me additional guidance about marriage in April. Ladder climbing towards success, nest, and emotionally insecure love and family and support into you. So this person is going to come back to you trying to climb the ladder with you and going to try to create a, 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 a nest egg with you. Eagle, they're trying to triumph over troubles and obstacles in regards to y'all relationship. Broken wish, but the wish will not be granted. Mm -mm. The wish will not be granted. The wish will not be granted. All right. So you guys let me know that tea that just came out on the table. You know, y'all let me know because I feel like that was definitely talking about something coming into the future. I feel like possibly around next April, that fair man might probably finally get their self together and try to come and confront you and let you know about some troubles or accusations or some drama where they're in the frying pan in regards to some shit in the crib with maybe a new child or, you know, something like that. And I feel like they may be trying to approach you and try to put more effort in, try to put effort in with you to create this happy home environment. But it doesn't look like their wish is going to be granted there at all. So, nope, 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 nope. And you see that there's a main female there. There's a main female. And I feel like this person is going to. Yeah. Anyway, let's get into. Let's get into the messages. Let's get into the messages, you guys. So let's see. Give this guidance about how our divine feminine feels. Give us guidance about how our divine feminine feels. And if there's anyone that they're thinking about, what messages do the divine feminine have to say in regards to who they're dealing with? Give me guidance in regards. Oh. Divine, divine feminine says you are irreplaceable. Okay. All right. It says it's really hard for me to open up. I'm thinking of what I want to say to you. The thoughts of you still does things to me. I look at your picture often. And I just got sidetracked. Alright. So it, it seems like to whoever this person is that the divine feminine is thinking of. That person is irreplaceable to her. And I just feel like. It's a lot of things that this person wants to say to this person, but I just don't feel like the Divine Feminine is ready to talk to this person at all. She still thinks of this person. She still looks at the pictures of this person, but I feel like she, right now, her life is on a different track, and she just got sidetracked, and she's not ready to, like, kind of deal with anything in regards to this person, whoever this person is that she's thinking of. Um... I feel like right now her thoughts and her mind is on something different. But she does think back to this a lot. And that person is still irreplaceable to her. But she got sidetracked. And she, I don't feel like she's really focused on that connection right now. Um, and maybe she is, she is going back and looking at, she is still reminiscing about it. But I feel like maybe she lost the connection. Like she just wasn't in the connection and. Maybe she's just now tapping back into this connection or trying to be connected back to love. You know what I'm saying? 
That's what I'm getting at. Um, give me guidance about how this person that um, Divine Feminine is thinking about where their thoughts and their minds are. Thank you so much. It says, if I knew what I knew now, I would have made different choices. Okay. Give me guidance. How does this person feel about Divine Feminine? I'm more affected than you know. My mind and heart always comes back to you. Mm -hmm. Oh, I still love you. Give me a few more messages and then we're done with that. Mm -hmm. Your words linger in my mind. So... Divine Feminine, this person that is in your heart and your mind, you are most definitely still in their heart and their mind, and they definitely still love you, honey. And they said, if I knew what I knew, if I knew now what I knew, then I would have made different choices. I'm more affected than you know. My heart and my mind always comes back to you. I still love you and your words linger. This person is still holding on to you very much so. This person is still holding on to you very, very much so, and they... I feel like they live every day almost in the regret of maybe choices that they made. Because clearly, you know, there's a main woman that they're with that they're not necessarily holding in high honor and they might be experiencing poverty. And there's a gift that they necessarily didn't, ne that they didn't want to receive necessarily out of this situation with this love affair. Um that might possibly lead them in the courthouse, it seems like. Um, but it seems like Divine Feminine got sidetracked from the situation. I feel like once there was a loss of connection, I mean, it was just a fucking loss of connection. And I feel like both of them went in their own worlds. And they're in two different worlds at this time right now. I don't feel... I really don't feel like a connection... Um, I really don't feel like a connection yet. I feel like this person is off in their world. They think of Divine Feminine. I feel like Divine Feminine is off in this world. And from time to time that they look at their picture and stuff like that. Um, and they definitely see this person as irreplaceable. I feel like when Divine Feminine inter interacts with other people, it does make her think back to that connection about the good things, but more so the bad and what they don't want. You see what I'm saying? Bones. Indestructible. Divine feminine is indestructible. They're not letting nothing or nobody beat them. They're, they're, they're still vibrant and they're still wanting love. What does it say? It's the belt. Uh-huh. What does it say? Punishment. They're done with being punished by, you know, their past mistakes. They're done with being punished. What does it say? It's 888. It says new opportunities and abundance are coming to your coming your way soon. Okay? Yeah. Divine Feminist says she's indestructible. Her bones are strong. She's got her punishment. I feel like Divine Feminine has cleaned her karma of, you know, all of the bullshit from the past. She's learned her lesson. And new opportunities and abundance is coming to her soon. And she knows that. And I feel like that's one of the things that she sidetracked on. Just, you know, like truly bringing in her blessings and things like that. And I, I don't feel, uh, what is this? Blue, serenity, tranquility, and peace. I feel like the divine feminine is trying to bring, bring in her new blessings. And just trying to be in a place of tranquility, peace, and serenity. I feel like some people might be struggling with that. Because they're trying to release still being attached to that name of whoever their ex is. Um, they're still breaking through of, you know, trying not to be connected to that name and releasing their energy of being aligned there, you know? Because I feel like that does affect their serenity, their tranquility, and their peace. Um, and it makes almost imp impossible for them to walk through this door and fully go through this transition but they're tired of being punished they've learned their lesson and abundance is coming to them they just got to remember what they're fighting for your tranquility your serenity and your peace you know what i'm saying so continue walking through 
and continue to work on not aligning and attaching yourself to names and people and places and stuff that you know is not benefiting you continue to push through that door and walk through that door go through that trans transition i feel like um the divine feminine with the seashell in reverse this is protection i feel like the divine feminine feels like she needs a little bit more protection because i feel like it's still a lot of smoke and mirrors and things like that she's still having a lot of visions visions about what and why do you feel like a protection and what's going on like yeah it's like it's like you don't feel like a lack of protection like it's not time or she don't feel safe to walk through that door and transition but it's like why would you not feel like that why would you feel it's like like there's still smoke or it's like I still want smoke or something oh jealousy you can't get over being jealousy it's like I still want smoke I still want smoke. You still have these visions, these bits of jealousy that I feel like you, you're trying to get over and you're trying to conquer. That's why you can't get through that door. You can't th get through that door. Mm. Give me guidance for the divine for the and that's the thing, and it's and it's like I feel like that's why you are not able to forget who you are because it's like you can't forget this name. You can't. It's like <laughs> you're not transitioning because it's like you almost punishing yourself. Not yeah, this shit stink. Yeah, this shit hurt. It's gonna hurt, right? All that shit's gonna hurt, but at the end of the day, you gotta move on because you're only hurting yourself. Cause I, I really, cause when I seen this, it was like, nah, but I want smoke. Cause I done seen this, this, and that, and it's like I want smoke. And it's like I feel like you want to send a lot of communication somewhere. Ooh. It's like you want to send a lot of communication, or there's possibly a lot of communication coming in through. Possibly by the other person that this person is dating or with. Because you see that there's a lot of angry communication. You see his face? His face look angry. Angry. And you know that the devil in reverse can represent like a complete other lover or something like that. It's a lot, a lot of passionate, angry communication there. You know what I'm saying? It seems like it. What is this year from this lover? From this lover that this thing didn't work out with. Yeah. From someone that don't want something to end. Because that doesn't look like good communication here. And or... This could be the Divine Feminine, which I don't think so. It's from a Queen of Cups in reverse. Could be from a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio woman. It's like a woman that is like hurt. This person is, feels insecure. This could be someone that doesn't want the situation to end with someone that they're in love with. They think that they're cheating with you and they're sending you a whole bunch of passionate, like, frustrating messages and stuff like that because they're feeling insecure and they're jealous and shit and they feel they they seen visions and shit like that they think shit's going up and smoke with you and you just like motherfucking are nah, i ain't doing shit but i want all the smoke though <laughs> like what what because i was just like i'm trying to tell you like i really do feel like it's um that main lady is is, is here like and that's not us knight of wands this person thinks that, you know, their person is, like, rushing back and forth over over to you. But you didn't let go of this person completely. You know what I'm saying? Like, you didn't let go of this person completely. Like, you're not even tripping over this person. But yet, these people want to compete and they want to battle and they want to argue with you. And it's like, you feel like you're having to defend yourself. 
And it's just like, I don't release and I don't stop communicating with this person. So I don't even know what the fuck you're talking about. So it's like, don't be sending me no whole bunch of fucking fast talking, angry, quick messages and shit. Like, bitch, what the fuck are you talking about? And that might be that. That fight. <gasps> oh, my God, bro. <gasps> now I'm getting it, Slim, a hey, bruh. Like, this must be the other bitch. This might be the main bitch. Like, the one that was willing to win at all costs. The one that was willing to fight and be ruthless and treacherous and, and lie, cheat, steal, manipulate and do whatever the fuck it was that she needed to do to win and get your man. That's her. And she angry. Because she don't like the cards that she was dealt because she feels like there's some secrets going on. And she is feeling insecure. And her intuition is leading her towards you. Because Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall. Humpty Dumpty ain't falling into her lap no motherfucker more. She trying to figure out why the fuck this person ain't offering her shit. She's like, hold on. There's some unjustified behavior going on right here. What's going on? As you can see, her fucking ass sitting up there with her man. They in court. Judge, your honor, there's something that's, that's going on that I don't know about. I need justice. I feel like this motherfucker done had, you know, jumped out on faith and then jumped into the rabbit hole with Alice. I feel like Alice is jumping into the hole again. You understand what I'm saying? I'm, 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 I'm feeling like because this person isn't receptive to, the, to me. This person seems bored. This person seems like they're getting their wishes fulfilled elsewhere. It seems like if I offer myself to my lover that they're completely rejecting me. They're completely bored by me and something has to be going on. This person has completely locked me out and has completely shut me out. You know, like I feel like I'm in a prison in my own home where I'm not even able to interact with the person that I truly love. I feel like they're running off finding good fortune elsewhere. That's this woman. Bro. Give me guidance and love, man. They better not be sending nobody no messages sounding all insecure, all concerned, all pathetic and shit like that. What? I don't know where your man is, but we ain't got him, beloved. We do not got him. We do not. Divine Feminine, do y'all got him? I don't. Y'all got him? I don't think Divine Feminine got him. Shit, I know Divine for shit. From what I'm looking at, Divine Feminine ain't got nobody. Like, Divine Feminine is on her divinity. Recognition. There is going to be some recognition and love. I feel like this woman knows that this person is coming back to you for some recognition from this false soulmate. Okay? This person wants you to surrender. Wow. Because you block communication because you weren't communicating with them no more. And they're trying to like release their pride and ego because they were operating on their pride and ego. And they feel like you're operating on your pride and ego. You, you won't. Okay, they want you to surrender and to stop operation, operating off of your pride and ego and communicate with them because you won't communicate with them because of your pride. They want recognition. Separation. I feel like they're in separation. Oh, and they and, and I feel like they're traveling out of that dark night of the soul. They, they travel deep within to figure out what their problem is. They figured it out. They learned their lessons. They learned their lessons. Their lessons have been received. It has been received. And what is it saying? And that you are admired by them. You are admired by them. They love you very, very much. Give me additional guidance and love. Because I feel like this message is deeper. I feel like these people were unawakened. But now they done woke up. They're no longer unawakened. Ooh, they want to offer and be devoted to you. That's why this bitch is calling you. Ooh, they release themselves from being bound by that devil. <laughs> Ooh, and they understand now. They understand. They have some true understanding about who you are. And wow, wow. So you might be getting some some messages and and like someone, because this person, Five of Swords. This is. Someone that know that it's a losing battle and they want to intimidate you to put your swords down. You understand what I'm saying? This is someone that is bullying you that is trying to intimidate you to not fight. You know what I'm saying? They want to trick you into the belief that you can't win against them. They're willing to do anything. 
anything bullying intimidation all of that stuff like that sending a whole bunch of threatening listen a whole bunch of threatening messages and shit like that threatening and intimidating messages and stuff like that this bitch is imm <laughs> immature and insecure give me additional guidance y'all we just knew that these motherfuckers was going to pop up in our goddamn reading, right? Okay. Well, we did ask to see what the fuck this motherfucker was thinking. So, uh, I guess we invited ourselves into their energy. <laughs> no, not really. This motherfucker was there off the break. Like, she was there off the break, but I just didn't know who the fuck she was. I'm thinking, like, this is a nosy-ass family member and shit. And it probably is. Give me additional guidance for the Divine Feminine. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Justice in reverse. So whoever the hell this is trying to intimidate you and sending all these messages, trying to assert their self and trying to tell you what to do and what you need to do and that you ain't going to win and that you can't beat them and shit. Bitch, they ain't going to win. They unbalanced as fuck. Two of swords. All right. This motherfucker don't know their tail from their motherfucking ass. They don't even know. <laughs> Listen, a fool in reverse. They a damn fool. I'm you, listen, they just calling you because they trying to find out the truth because they think that your man is over there and they ain't going to find out shit to a wands. And that motherfucker still ain't coming back home to them. So it's just like you calling and you and you pestering, you being aggressive and you're being an asshole trying to find out some information and you still ain't get nowhere because your man ain't with us. You feel what I'm saying? Your man ain't with us. So the only thing you did, you jumped your ass out there looking like a fucking fool, being unjustified because you don't even have no proof that your man is over here, to only end up looking stupid, only end up sitting there even more stupid, not knowing where the hell you want to go, to a swords, you still don't know nothing, you're still nothing smarter than you were before you made that call, before you made that call, <sighs> looking and sounding stupid. And still looking even more unbalanced and, and with even less answers than you goddamn had when you made that goddamn call. You look like a stupid ass, jacked ass fool. You don't got no faith in yourself. You ain't got no faith in your future. You don't have no morals. You don't have no principles. You need to go to a church and go see Jesus somewhere, honey. And you still don't have no, you still don't know who you are. You don't know what you want. You don't know what the truth is. You're looking for answers and you need to go look somewhere else, honey. Because, listen, this person still ain't going to come home to you. I don't know where your man is at, but he ain't here, beloved. He's not here. What you want us to do? What you want me to tell you? Hold on. Where is this woman's man? Where is his, where's her man? Come on, let's help. Where is her man? Where is her man? Where is her man? <laughs> Spirit, where is her man? Spirit, please tell this woman where her man is at so she can get some understanding. Okay, where is he at? Oh, Ace of, Ace of Cups, he found a new love. He found a new love, girlfriend. But it's not with us. It's not with us, beloved. He found a new love, baby. It's not with us. Let's see. Where, where, where's her man, father? Please tell this woman where, because I know she's watching. She's watching this video, y'all. Where's her man? Where's her man? Where's her man? Oh, high priestess in reverse. Um, yeah, he's okay. So listen, hmm. Give me some additional guidance with the high priestess in reverse. What is this? Oh, ten of pentacles. Oh, okay. Oh, the king of chalice. Okay, yeah. He's with. He's with. He's with. Uh, um. Mm. Oh, what is this? The tower. <laughs> yeah, you ain't see that coming, did you, bitch? <laughs> oh, yeah, he's cutting you out. Oh. Okay. All right, so you want to know where your man is at? Okay, he done found a new love, baby. He done found a new love. And this is a um, high priestess in reverse. Whoever this bitch is, she's just as sneaky and scoundrel and just as dirty and scandalous as he is. Okay? All right? She's a... Uh, she out there she holding a whole bunch of secrets and shit and she just is like I said she just is about as nasty and dirty as he is okay so um yeah uh yeah and he's in love with her he seems to like people this is a man that seems to like people who treat him like shit 
Okay? So he don't love people until they treat him like shit and it's something difficult to obtain. So if you want to know how to get your man back, treat him like shit. Cheat on him. Um, do something real fucked up to him. Like, you know, a challenge for him. Then you'll get your man back. Okay? Because this woman, she's a fucking whore. She's out there. She don't, you know... <laughs> That's why he chased her. He like whores, okay? And he found a whole happy home environment over there. You see how he's kissing and loving and hugging up on her bitch? That's where your man at. He's over there tossing a whole nother bitch ass silent over there because this bitch got money. And she's taking care of him. Yep, she sure is. She sure is. And she's being a nasty little dirty whore. She's got a lot of secrets and a lot of nasty, tricky shit in her fucking bag. And old bitch, do he likes that shit. He likes that secretive whore and ass shit. And it's like... He don't know if if he the only if she the, if he's the only one that she's talking to or not, and I think that's the mysterious and intrigue behind it because he don't know where he stands with her. So basically, the same way that he treats you, she treats him like that, and that's what keeps him. So if you want to know how to treat your man and keep your man, treat him like shit, the same way that he treats you, and then he'll love you. Yeah, mm hmm Because this is the king of chalices in reverse. Yeah, he's a little lover boy. Uh-huh, he doesn't really know how to love anyone because he only knows how to love himself. And to stroke his own personal dick. That's about it. Yep, yep, yep. Ah, uh -huh. And yeah, this is something that you definitely didn't see coming, did you? Tink, tink. You didn't see it. You thought that tink, tink was going to stay there with you, little tinker, stinker. You did. You didn't see this. You didn't see this betrayal coming. But yeah, you called him fucking someone else. But you think it's us, but it's not us. It's another bitch. It's another bitch just like you, boo. It's another bitch just like you, but she's worse than you. <laughs> <laughs> and you've been staying up all motherfucking night. It's been dreading you. It's been dreading you and dreading. <laughs> listen, listen. It's been you being drugged across across hot cold stones, okay? Because it's like it's the mystery at the top of this car here. This black cat. What is the secret? What is the mystery? Who is he fucking now? And you just cannot. Get over it. You cannot get over it. You are trying to release this energy, but gosh darn it, you can't. Because you didn't see this coming. Because you thought your pussy was laid in platinum and silver and gold, didn't you, bitch? You didn't think that this motherfucker was going to do this same cheating, manipulative bullshit that he did. You didn't think. You didn't. You, you thought you was exempt. No, no, no. This motherfucker's with a whole nother bitch. And he's in love. He done felt somebody else to fall in love with. He got bored with you. Can you say that up there? He got bored with you. And he's running off on his hamster wheel. He's running and chasing somebody else's rabbit tail. Right? Yes. Uh-huh. Because he's Mr. Lover Lover. Ooh. Mr. Lover Lover. Yeah. Girl, that's why we been told you. That wasn't our soulmate. We done been told you that. So I don't know why you think that he over here. But he done cut your ass out. Clearly. You already found that out. Look, you already caught him. You already caught him, didn't you? Look at him stroking somebody else's titty. Look at him. Look at him. Look at you, look at you, and look at you. And you think it's us, don't you? No, it's not. It's not. He he is in love with us, though. Yeah, he is. He is. But he knows good and goddamn well that we're not going to accept him back. So he's not fucking us, bitch. He's fucking someone else. So you might need to go and find out who else it is that he's fucking because it's not us, beloved. Okay? So take care now. Bye-bye then. I hope that this helped you, beloved. We blow dust in your face. Bye-bye.